Welcome back guys. In this session, I'm going to show you how you can uh, write a program to find the power to any particular number. Okay, suppose the number entered by the user is 2 and the power entered by the user is only 5. Okay, so what it should do, it should multiply that particular number that many times, how many times the power has been given. Okay, so this is the code. So let, let us take the two inputs. One is the number and the one is the power from the user. So let's use a uh, the scanner class S C A N N E R scanner uh, S C equal to new S C A N N E R scanner. Okay, in this constructor we are going to say system dot in. Okay, then here let uh, let me just write like this system dot out dot print align. Okay, I will say enter the number like this. Then here I will say in the variable num okay whatever sc dot next int is a method we are going to use okay that we are going to store it inside this num variable okay so sc scanner class has to be imported from java dot util package so this is how we are going to take input from the user for this particular number of value num so just like this i'm going to use this three statements once again copy it here and this time uh, i'll make the reference variable sc1 okay so here I'll name it as SC1 and here I will say enter the power like this okay and that value I'm going to store it inside that value P okay now all we have to do is check for the number and the power okay but here first thing what you are going to check is see if the power is given as 1 if the power is given as 1 okay uh, but uh, before that, let me take one more value. See, like integer result of this program. Let let me keep it as zero. Okay. See, guys, if uh, the power is given as one, okay, the result should be that particular number itself. Like five to the power of one is five itself. Okay. So result is equal to that particular number itself. Like this. Okay. Then, if uh, if let's say the power. Okay. If the power is equal to equal to entered by the user is zero okay then the result value okay should become as one okay that is the logic here okay now if the number is entered as one okay then also the result remains one itself okay one to the power anything should be one itself so here i will say like this if the number okay uh, entered by the user if it is equal to equal to 1 okay then the result should remain 1 itself like this okay now if at all the num number is greater than 1 okay and along with that i'm going to check if power is greater than 1 okay then whatever number or power they give that we will consider inside the loop okay so i will say like this integer i you start from 1 okay i should be less than or equal to power okay how much power they give that many times okay then uh, i plus plus what we have to do we have to calculate the result result is equal to result plus sorry into that particular number like this okay that many times how much power is there that many times this number should get multiplied with the result okay so here result value okay see at the top i have taken a zero okay so no matter how many times i am going to multiply my number with result i am going to get the answer as zero itself so this is the reason okay in case of multiplication programs we take the result value as one okay so we'll initialize the result value as one one into that particular number for the one time okay it's going to get us the answer as that particular number itself so once when this entire loop has done running okay here at the last we are going to print out that statement that saying that the power to that particular number is this much okay so let let me write that particular number here then i'll concatenate like this power uh, i will use this power symbol here okay then uh, number to the power okay uh, p that is the power they are going to enter okay then concatenate a string value is then concatenate the result value 
like this and come outside give semicolon save the program and let's run it once okay so first i'm going to enter a number so i'm going to enter 2 then i'm going to enter the power as 5 okay 2 to the power of 5 is 32 so like this okay now let's run the program one more time this time the number is 1 okay and let's say power is 5 okay the result 1 to the power of 5 should get me 1 only okay so now let's run it one more time see let's this time give the number as 5 oh, sorry i pressed the wrong this thing uh, let's say i am entering number as 5 but the power i'm giving as 0 okay so anything to the power of 0 should give us 1 itself so this program is working perfectly fine okay so this is how you are going to make a java program okay which finds power to any particular number okay so thank you very much for watching guys i'll see you in the next topics